I'm looking at the drum of a washing machine that uh, was broken. Beyond repair, and this was why, well this is one of the reasons why the motor was dead, and it was direct drive motor, but if you look in there, this is the inside of the drum, it's all taken apart, inside of the tub, you can hear that noise and that free play is in the washing machine bearing, the inner bearing, the one closest to the drum. So it's got about a millimetre of play. I'll just to show you, I'll turn the drum over and show you what a good one is. So, and obviously it's all rusty and greasy and it's burst out as well and that's come through the seal as well. Um, but you can see there, on the back, this one, it has a bit of dirt on it and I presume that's from the one on the inside because it looks okay, although it, does, it is leaking grease so maybe the seal has gone on it as well because when the first one goes the second one is soon to follow, but that is nice and smooth. So I might try and knock them out and see what they look like. So here's the drum. This is a good bearing, the other one's inside. So, just a piece of flat bar, a bigger one would be better maybe, but all you do is you break it out. It is coming out. Seals out already. So that's one there. You can hear the rattling in it. This is the side that was on the washing machine drum side, and this is the side that punch mark there is from my hammer because it slipped so I was trying to drive it out along this ring here pretty rotten if you've got a bearing that looks like that anywhere it's past itself so I'll drive out the other one and even though it'll have been hit with a hammer and probably be better not to use it I'll show you what it looks like this one and even though it's been oh I can feel it now it's gone as well I think that is more likely to be it feels nice and smooth but if you can see just up there just along here there's a bit of play in that one as well some of that could have been for me bashing it out you're meant to press them in gently along the outer rim but getting them out, you just have to force them out. So, that's how you get your bearings out anyways, and that's what a bad bearing looks like. Thanks for watching.